It's Thomas! Oh, at last! Hello, Thomas! If you really want to see an exciting load, look at this! What do you think? It's great, isn't it? Um, what's great, Emily? Can't you see a giant globe on my flatbed? No. There's nothing very exciting on your flatbed. Oh, no! I must have lost it. How could it have come off? <laughs> I'd better find it again, or I'll never get another exciting delivery. Meanwhile, the giant globe was going on its own little journey. Emily was searching everywhere. A great big giant globe like that can't just disappear. about having a giant globe to deliver. I <laughs> know, Annie. That was very silly. Um, excuse me, you two. We might want to hurry it along a bit. Why? Because there's a giant globe heading right for us! Come on! I can't imagine. Imagine what's keeping Emily. She should have been here with that globe by now. Where could she be? Hey, Timothy, we're looking for a truck. Yes, a lost truck. It's very important. Then I'll help you find it. Wait a minute. Is this one of your tricks? No, no not at all. No, oh, no, 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 not no. a trick. No way. Definitely not. Oh, OK, then. So, what does it look like, this lost truck? It's, it's orange. Red. It's red and orange and yellow and green and blue and indigo and violet. Wow! That's a very colourful truck. And that's why it's so important. We really need it. We really need it to do... Something. Something important. So, if you could find it, then you'd be very clever indeed. It's a surprise, so don't say anything if you see the fat controller. You can count on me. Timothy set off in search of the truck, quite certain he was helping his two friends. Hello there, Timothy. Where are you off to? I'm looking for a truck, Thomas. It's very special. It's red and orange oh, and yellow and green. Really? That does sound unusual. And blue and indigo and violet. <laughs> That's all the colours of the rainbow. I don't think there's a truck like that on Sodor. Oh, no, Thomas. There is. And it's very important. At Brendam Docks, there were lots and lots of trucks in lots and lots of different colours. But Timothy couldn't see a truck like the one Bill and Ben had told him about. <laughs> T 
Timothy Chug Pasodor Animal Park with its colourful parrots. He spotted the Duchess of Boxford in a multicoloured dress. And he saw a group of children flying colourful kites, but no multicoloured rainbow truck. Hello, Thomas. You look happy. What's your special? It's a lion. Flat my funnel. How exciting. I only have to deliver fresh fish. I think my lion would really like fresh fish. May I have some for him, Edward? Of course. So Thomas's driver put some fresh fish into the lion's crate. Thank you, Edward. I must hurry now. The mayor is waiting for the Lion of Sodor. Edward was surprised. <gasps> Clattering carriages. Stop, Thomas. The Lion of Sodor isn't it? But Thomas didn't stop and he didn't listen. Then Thomas saw Toby. Hello, Thomas. You look happy. What's your special? It's a lion. Buff my boiler. How exciting. I only have straw in my trucks. I'm sure my lion would really like some soft straw to lie on. May I have some for him, Toby? Of course. Thomas's driver put some soft straw into the lion's crate. Thank you, Toby. I really have to hurry. The mayor will be waiting for the Lion of Sodor. Toby was surprised. Oh, no. Trembling trucks. Stop, Thomas. The Lion of Sodor is never... But Thomas didn't stop and he didn't listen. Thomas's pistons pumped and his wheels whirred. He couldn't wait to deliver his lion. He chuffed his hardest and raced on towards Knapford Station. At last, Thomas puffed proudly into Knapford. The fat controller was there, and so were the other engines. I'm very excited, Thomas. This is a big day. The Lion of Sodor is here. Thomas was uncoupled from the flatbed, and he pulled away to join the other engines. The workman carefully opened the lion's crate. Then the engines gasped. The Lion of Sodor wasn't a real lion at all. It was a statue. And now it was covered in sticky syrup, fresh fish and straw. The fat controller was cross. Thomas, this is a terrible mess. Gordon and James <laughs> laughed. Thomas felt very silly. I'm sorry. I thought I had a real lion in my crate. I wanted to take extra special care of it. I didn't know the Lion of Sodor was a statue. I'm here to collect the new storybooks. We'll have your trucks ready and two toots of a whistle, Thomas. Thomas saw the storybooks piled high in the two trucks. There were red books, green books and blue books. There were big books, small books, square books and even round books. They look wonderful. Soon Thomas was coupled up to the trucks. I must hurry. I have to deliver the storybooks to the library on time. Thomas was very excited. He pumped his pistons and puffed quickly out of the station. Thomas didn't wait for the books to be covered. Thomas steamed quickly along the track. I mustn't be late for story time. I'll chuff and I'll puff to be there on time. The books began to jiggle and joggle, but Thomas didn't notice. Thomas puffed fast towards the junction. He could see the signal ahead was red. I don't want to stop. The children are waiting for their special story time. Then an idea flew into his funnel. 
I can take the branch line. I know there aren't any junctions on that. So Thomas puffed quickly down the branch line. Thomas felt very pleased. He chuffed faster and faster, and the books jiggled and joggled more and more. But Thomas didn't notice. I mustn't be late for story time. I'll chuff and I'll puff to be there on time. Thomas raced round a bend. Ahead, there was a sign for works on the track. Oh, bother! I'm sure the works on the tracks won't stop me. So Thomas puffed faster and faster. Then there was trouble. Workers were mending the broken track. The broken track was very bumpy. Thomas bumped and jumped. The books jiggled and joggled. Then Thomas hit the biggest bump of all. Whoa! Cinders and ashes! The trucks bounced high in the air. They crashed and bashed. They clattered and shattered down to the tracks. Thomas put on his brakes. The books flew high and wide through the air and landed all over Farmer McCall's field. <gasps> oh, my! Thomas huffed and chuffed to the top of Gordon's Hill. Then he gasped. There's that wonderful kite again. The kite belonged to the Fat Controller's grandchildren. <laughs> they wanted to win the cup at the kite festival. Charlie puffed up. Look at that kite swoop through the air! Look, there's Thomas! Suddenly a gust of wind pulled at the kite. The kite flew up, up, up and away. The Fat Controller's grandchildren watched. They were very sad. Thomas wanted to help them. Don't be sad. I'll chase after your kite and bring it back to you. This made the children very happy. <laughs> I'm the fastest engine on Sodor. I can catch up with your kite. I'll help you, Thomas. No, thank you, Charlie. I'm much faster than you. I can chase this kite all by myself. So Thomas didn't go straight to Knapford with the winner's cup. He chuffed off, chasing the Fat Controller's grandchildren's runaway kite. The wind blew the kite far down the tracks. Thomas whooshed and whooshed. His boiler bubbled, his coal crackled. I must keep up with the runaway kite. I'll puff and I'll huff with all of my might. I'm the fastest engine on Sodor. Then the wind blew the kite out of sight. Where has the kite gone? Hello, Thomas. You're huffing hard. Hello, Edward. I'm chasing the Fat Controller's grandchildren's kite. How exciting. Can I help? No, thank you, Edward. I'm the fastest engine on Sodor. I can chase their kite all by myself. At last, Thomas caught up with the kite. He was excited. Then, the wind blew the kite another way. Cinders and ashes! Come back, Mr Kite, please! Thomas chased and raced. I must keep up with a runaway kite. I'll puff and I'll huff with all of my might. I'm the fastest engine on Sodor. Then the wind blew the kite up over the bridge. Emily was on the bridge. She saw the kite. She was surprised. Hello, Thomas. Are you chasing that kite? Yes, Emily. It has blown away from the Fat Controller's grandchildren. I've promised I'll catch it. <laughs> 